What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, coming to you from the road because I'm on the road visiting shops, getting my other work done. But I wanted to bring you a video real quick. We're gonna talk about how my screen just fell. Um, yeah. What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, coming to you from the road in Chicago. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video and talk a little bit about these cores that are inside of bowling balls when we get back. All right, so what's up guys? So we are talking about cores and how they can change once you drill them. So we have two different kinds of cores. We've got an asymmetric and we have a symmetric core. This being a symmetric core, you can tell it's symmetric because if you cut down the middle here, it's the same from one side to the other. They, it is symmetrical. If we were to take and add, say, <clears throat> this pen, put this pen on the side of this core, if it was part of the core and we cut it down the middle, obviously this side has the pen, this side does not, now it is considered an asymmetric core. Once these balls are drilled, they're changed. So even when you take a symmetric core like this, you put holes in it, now you're making it asymmetric. So every bowling ball ends up basically being asymmetric anyway, uh, with the exception of a certain few cores where they design them to where you drill into certain spots and you can make them symmetrical or really, really super close to symmetric anyway. Um, so they don't change a ton, but it's enough. This is where those core values come into play. When you talk about that 060 rule <clears throat> for the differential, where a bowling ball can't have above 060, but we can take a ball that has 058, and once we put holes in it, the numbers change to above 058, and they end up being above 060, um, but the rule states that it has to be 060 or below from the start undrilled. So, but we can always take bowling balls and get them almost even up into the 080 area and get them to flare a ton. And the way we do that is by putting holes in the core and changing the way the ball rolls down the lane. So when we put fingers in the ball, this is the top of the core. This is, would be where the pin would be, is right up on the top over here. So when we put holes in the ball, pin up or pin down, depending on where you go, if it's pinned down, the core is going to sit like this in your hand. If it's pinned up, the core is going to sit like this in your hand. If you can tell, if you can see based on this video. So if we do that again, this is going to be pin up here. This would be pinned down here. Okay, so it just makes the core sit in a different spot and get into a different type of roll in a different position on the lane. So we're changing this by putting holes in the ball. So say uh, we have a ball that's above an ounce side weight, which is the current rule, um, we would then have to put a hole in the side to take the side weight out. So if this is sitting over here like this, and all of a sudden in the, in the pins like this, now we have too much, uh, or actually I'll go this way. If we're sitting right here and we have it drilled like this, and now we have too much side weight over here uh, compared to this side. We have over an ounce of weight over here. We have to now take this and put a hole over here. And then what we're doing is we're putting a hole directly into the core. And that is now changing and obviously making this side of the ball different than this side. And which is going to make it asymmetric and it's going to make it flare more. Now, depending on where you put the hole, if you put it up to where it doesn't touch the core, you can actually make it flare less. If you put it down by the bottom where it hits the bottom of the core, you can make the ball flare more. A lot of technical details here, but I just kind of wanted to touch on the difference between an asymmetric and a symmetric core and why when you put a hole in it, it changes it so much. You can put a hole in a bowling ball and not have it change at all. You just have to make sure you only drill deep enough to where you're not hitting the core. If you don't hit the core, you're not gonna change the core values at all from what it is based on already what you have three holes drilled into it. So we can, when, when you go into a pro shop and when they, you, you get a ball drilled and they drill a specific way and you say, man, I don't know if I really like this. I don't, it just, it's not hooking enough for me. Those pro shop guys are going to go and take that ball most times they're either going to put more surface on it to try to get it to hook sooner and give you the illusion that it's hooking more, or they're going to take it, put it on the press, and they're going to put a hole down low into the core to make it more asymmetric and to make that ball flare and change direction a little bit more. Um, and so you have that ability to do that now until August 1st, 2020, when there will be no weight holes. So you're going to have to put an awful lot of trust into your pro shop guy and make sure you're going to the correct pro shop person who is knowledgeable enough and is going to get your numbers of your bowling, of the way you throw the ball, your tilt, your axis rotation, 
your positive access point, all that stuff. So that way he can properly, he or she can properly lay out that bowling ball for you to where it doesn't need a hole and get the most out of that bowling ball for you. So you're going to have to be careful come that time. But we're going to go into details on that in the Mug Club podcast coming up, the Loft podcast, Lack of Freaking Talent. We have a podcast that's starting Thursday, this Thursday night uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is where all of the Mug Club members get to gather for a podcast, ask questions, guide the conversation, and we all talk about bowling, and we all talk about the questions that are asked and the the topics at hand. This week, the topics are going to be the PBA League, uh, the drafts and everything, all the announcements that were made there by Tom Clark, and we're going to talk about this new rule, the USBC weight hole rule, and how it's going to change bowling, uh, whether it's going to be good or bad. We'll find out. We're going to talk about that more. And then we're also going to dive a little bit into building an arsenal and the, how we can change uh, some of the balls in our bags to make our bag a little bit better. Uh, and we're not just talking about one brand. We're going to talk about all the brands of bowling balls. If you want to talk about Brunswick, we'll talk about Brunswick. If you want to talk about Storm, we're going to talk about Storm. So make sure to head over to lifestractioncontrol.com and sign up for the Mug Club. It's only like 25 bucks with shipping, $19.99 plus 5 bucks shipping will get you your own mug and you will have access to the podcast every single month. Plus this this month I'm giving away a bowling ball and I'm actually going to do that every month. Shh, don't tell anybody I told you, but every month a mug club winner will win a bowling ball. Plus throughout the podcast, I'm going to be giving away prizes like turbo backpacks and, and three ball totes and stuff like that to random members as well. So you have to be present to win that those small prizes, but you do not have to be in the podcast to win the bowling ball. So as long as you're signed up for the Mug Club, you're going to have a chance to win. But I wanted to touch on these uh, just a little bit and give you guys something to think about when it comes to cores and when you go and drill balls. So make sure to share this. Make sure to subscribe to this page, like this page, comment below. Uh, there is a link in the description to sign up for that Mug Club so you can be a part of those conversations and get your questions answered. So... Uh, Until next time, guys, we will see you later. We'll probably see you Thursday for the podcast. So take care.